Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about the maturation of B cells. Now the first thing to recognise about B cells is that they go through various stages of development. So I'll begin by drawing up these stages. And during the process of maturation, a B cell will progress through all these stages. Now I'll label each stage. B cells arise from stem cells within the bone marrow. These progress to pro-B cells and we'll look at the differences between the early pro-B cell and the late pro-B cell. These then progress to pre-B cells and then on to immature B cells. The immature B cells then migrate to lymph nodes, the spleen, and other secondary lymphoid tissues. At this time, they then progress to naive B cells, and they eventually may become mature B cells. The first part within the bone marrow is the antigen-independent phase, because B cells progress through these stages without the presence of an antigen. The part within the secondary lymphoid tissues is called the antigen-dependent phase because to progress from a naive B cell onward requires the presence of an antigen. So let's see how all this happens. This big cell up here is a bone marrow stromal cell and it is required to send a series of signals to get the process started. Initially, the stem cell binds to the stromal cell via the binding of a protein called VCAM1 on the stromal cell to VLA4 on the stem cell. At this point, heavy chain DJ rearrangement occurs. If you don't know what I mean by this, see the previous video on antibody production and recombination. Once VCAM1 and VLA4 have bound, they promote the binding of a second protein coupling. This is the binding of stem cell factor, or SCF for short, on the stromal cell, and C-kit. They cause the early pro-B cell to express the interleukin-7, or IL-7, receptor. At this point, heavy chain VDJ recombination occurs. IL-7 released by the stromal cell is now received by the IL-7 receptor on the pro-B cell. IL-7 drives further maturation of the pro-B cell. The genes for the heavy chain are transcribed and translated, and there is also downregulation of VLA4 and C-kit so the pro-B cell releases from the stromal cell. The translated heavy chains organise and present on the surface of the cell along with a protein complex called the surrogate light chain. This is known as the pre-B cell receptor or the pre-BCR for short. At this point, light chain VJ rearrangement occurs. Then the light chain and heavy chain present together on the surface of the cell. This is an immunoglobulin or an antibody known as IgM. At this point we call this cell an immature B cell and this immunoglobulin can also be referred to as the B cell receptor or BCR. This B cell migrates to the secondary lymphoid tissue where it expresses both IgM and IgD on its surface. This B cell will stay in this state until it meets its antigen, at which point we call the cell a mature B cell, and another whole series of events to fight a possible infection take place. And that's an overview of the maturation process of B cells. For more free tutorials, and the PDF for this tutorial, visit www.
handwrittentutorials.com.